Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. It's time for another unboxing video today. And this should be kind of fun. So, you know, um, I am not an expert in the area of harps and lyres. I do have a playlist of a handful of them that I've, that I've had experience with, but really not my area. However, I noticed that on Amazon and eBay and other places, these things called Kinner harps, K-I-N-N-O-R, and they're also called King David harps, keep popping up. They're, they seem to be a popular thing right now. They're generally in like the 70 to $90 range. And uh, I just went out and bought one because I was curious about them. And that's what this is. And let's go ahead and open them. And these are 10 string lyres, though they're called Kinner harps. They're actually lyres, at least from what I can tell, or at least from my understanding of the, the differences. But uh, in any case, uh, several different finishes available. And um, let's take a look at this one that just showed up. So there it is. And let's go ahead strip the packing material off and it looks like first of all it does seem to come with a case that's nice a lot of instruments uh in this price range do not come with cases so that's actually pretty nice it comes with this little bag it seems to have a pocket on the front and there's something in the pocket what do we got here it looks like our tuning wrench and a spare set of strings all right and here is our harp that's it for the bag i'm going to set that down to the side here and let's get our harp out, or it's a liar, but <laughs> anyway, okay. So maybe you can see the manual here. The company is called Mid East, and this it says Lutz, Liars, Kinner, and Neville Harps, and it looks like there's several different uh, models here, but it's this one that's kind of depicted back here. And um, I guess I can look through this later, but if you see here, it is actually shown as the Kinner Harp, K-I-N-N-O-R. So there we go, and here is our instrument. So if we just look at it real quick, fairly thin, it's not um, terribly thick. Soundboard, soundboard does not appear to be terribly resonant, so I'm not sure how loud this is going to be, but maybe you can just kind of see here, the soundboard looks like it's a separate piece of wood and it's got the two sound holes. It looks like it's separate from the rest of the harp and it does appear that these kind of upper arms here are a different wood than the main part of the body here. Um, it does appear to have a back that separates. Okay, there we go. Definitely a lot more resonance there in the middle. Maybe I was just tapping it in the wrong spot. So um, there we go. There's our Kinner harp. And um, we do see across the top, there are, uh, what are these called? Why is my brain locking up? Um, you know what they're called. My brain is completely locked up this morning. I apologize. But uh, anyway, we've got our, our tuning pegs up there and that's what we'll use our tuning wrench for. One thing that I do like, you can see they adhered to the um, color coding. So I would assume, so a red is typically a C, so that's probably a C and a blue is typically an F. So that would mean this one would go from A, from excuse me, from E to G. And obviously it's not in tune. So that's the next thing, let me tune it up and uh, let's see what this thing sounds like. Okay. Plausibly in tune. I hear a couple sour ones in there, but it's plausibly in tune. Now this took me a minute. Now, first of all, um, a lot of that is not necessarily the fault of this instrument. Any nylon string instruments, and you can probably see these are nylon strings, Nylon strings stretch a lot when they're new. So with any nylon string instrument, you tune it up, you get it perfectly in pitch, and you sometimes strum it once or twice, and it goes back out of tune. And uh, it took me several times going through. However, I did run into an additional problem, and this might be unique to this harp, I'm not gonna say they're all gonna have this, but some of these zither pins, that was a word I couldn't think of earlier, some of these zither pins just would not hold the tension. I would literally tune it to tension and let go, and you could watch the wrench spin. Um, so what I had to do was actually unhook the string from the zither pin, turn the zither pin into the wood just a little further, and then reseat the string and then retune it. And I finally got everything to tune or at least to a plausible amount. Now, the first thing you'll notice, this is not terribly loud. It does not have a lot of volume. And I actually suspected that from the beginning when I was originally tapping it, it's not terribly resonant, which typically that means you're not gonna get a lot of volume out of the instrument.
So again, not a whole lot of volume, but it does have a nice, pretty sound. Those nylon strings against the wood do tend to make a nice gutter. You can already hear that one went out again. Which one was that? This one? That one. Anyway. <laughs> Now, to be honest, guys, if you are looking for a lyre to sit around and play and to learn on, this might not be your greatest choice, um, just because it doesn't have a lot of volume, a lot of resonance, and I did have a little bit of problems with those other pens. It's pretty, so if this is something that you're looking for the aesthetic, then there you go. If it's something you want to like hang on the wall for more of a decoration or something, then definitely this is this is great for that. Um, honestly, if you were looking for something to learn on, I feel like there's harps that are in this, or excuse me, lyres that are in the same price range that have a lot more features and honestly are a little more reliable. Um, but you know, again, it is a neat little aesthetic, um, kind of has a classic look to it. So there you go. I guess that's what you can expect, or at least that's what my experience was based on the one that I got. Again, these are selling in the 70 to 90 range all over eBay, Amazon, etc. And uh, they're called Kinner Harps or King David Harps. But in, re in reality, it's a 10-string lyre. Now, if you like what I do on this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.